find the time nine hours, 20 minutes after 10.55 a.m. So it's after, so all we need to do is add those times together. So we do that plus that. It should be something like this. 55 plus 20, okay? Guys, 55 plus 20, that is 75, isn't it? Which, had, which is 60 plus 15. So we've got a whole hour. So see how 10 plus nine is 19, so 19 hours. But we'll see how we've got an extra hour here. So we add that onto here, which gives you 20 and 15 minutes. Okay, and that is 8.15 p.m. because I wanna put it into normal time. So if you convert that back from 24 hours, you should get 8.15. Okay, so that's what you do. See, find the time five hours, 45 minutes after that 9.10. So 9.10 is 21.10, isn't it, in 24 hours? And we add on 5.44. So always trying to work with 24 hours. So again, that's gonna be something like this. Okay, because 10 plus 45 is 55, 21 plus 5 is 26. And 26, guys, that is 2.55 a.m. the next day. Because that exceeds 24 hours, which means that exceeds a whole day. So it's because 26 is 24 plus 2. 24 is one day. So the next day, after another day, it's 2 hours and 55. So 2.55 a.m. the next day, okay? Because it's a whole day has been passed. Okay, six hours, 15 minutes before 10.55. So this time we're gonna be subtracting 10.55 minus 6.15, which is 4.40 a.m. That was an easy one, okay? We just need to subtract the units together. And nine hours, 15 minutes before 5.30 a.m. Okay, we do 530 minus 950, which gives you negative number. Because five minus nine is negative four, and then 30 minus 50 is 20. So it's a negative number. It goes backwards, doesn't it? So what does negative four, 20 indicate? If I add the 24 hours, it becomes 20, uh, sorry, 19, 40, isn't it? If I add an extra 24 hours, to make it positive because I don't like working with negative time and that will give you 1940 and what's that in normal time simply 7 so 7 40 p.m. Um, the previous day because we've added an extra 24 hours okay from that day so it's negative when you get a negative number it simply means the previous day okay and when it exceeds 24 as we had in one of the earlier questions, it means the next day. So because this is negative, we know that it's 7.40 the day before. Okay, so the previous day. That's how you can identify it. All right, so kind of get the idea, guys? That was the conversions between times. So in your exam, when you get these questions, try to utilize your calculator as well, because it's very, very handy.